Oh, this week on Bargain Bin Lounge is... Oh, I don't even know what this is. It's Monster Prom uh, XXL. Why wasn't this for Halloween? I know, I know, missed opportunity. Like, I've got like, a, I guess I got a lot of horror spooky games, I suppose, that are less than $5. This is like, what, $3 on the eShop, I suppose? What, 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 what even is this? I have no idea. Time to date some it's, monsters. It, it, voice interjections, extra outfit, what, what there's extra outfits? What? what? Oh, cool, what? set it for Halloween. What? It's November, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, it's almost it's like almost November. Oh, uh, so. yeah, actually, winter sounds fine. Winter sounds okay. All right, let's go. Uh, all right. This so. is a visual novel. Let's do it. Okay, so let's play. Make my own voices. Uh, oh, I think there's preset noises that you can do as responses to things. Well, let's try to make our own voices then, whatever that means. Yeah, two players. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, this, this, yeah, that's our first term. I mean, we're we're freshmen, I suppose. Uh, 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 uh wait, let's get just go for a short game. What's that? One for each, I suppose. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who, who, who am I? Who am I? Well, I, I mean... Do you want to be the familiar, the lady on fire, the zombie, or the zombette? It's a Frankenstein's see, monster. See, that's kind of who I was in college, and this is kind of, like, both of these... There was, there was like, an intersection. Eh, ah, you know what? I'll go ahead and... I'll be the zombie. The zombie guy. Uh, name, it will be... Uh, oh. Gr green? Green or Brian? <laughs> His name's Brian Green, duh! Well, let's just keep it casual. Call you. him <laughs> Brian Green Duck. D. G. J. Three. Hey, got enough. You need J3. Pronoun? He, she, or they. That yeah, will go with the he. And now for me, I shall be the void. Yellow? Because hmm. he wears yellow. Or Oz. Well, I shall be... Nick. Nick. As one of the many names I've been called throughout the years. <laughs> Stick with that. Alright. You don't really look like a Nicholas. I, I don't. I don't even sound like a Nicholas. And yet we had to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. <gasps> I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of, of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, <laughs> a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. What's up, what? mermaid? Damien LeVay, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love, love of fire. fire. Yeah, okay. We get to choose our suitor. Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Uh, Liam de Lioncourt, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. No, uh, hmm. oh, he's over 400 years old. Polly Geist, a party ghost with an insatiable Dude. hunger for all the wrong things. What's up, ghost girl? And Vera Oberlin. Ah, it's a Medusa! Self-made Gorgon with a, a Gorgon, excuse sense me. Of business. Guess what, Poindexter? You're about to get the ultimate wedgie, if you know what I mean, and it's not going to be your underwear going up your crack. Only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two more weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Welcome to Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. <laughs> Worry no more, we're not using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. Wow. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? Uh, let's see, a dolphin? Uh, n n no, okay. Uh. So, uh, I had to wonder why this was rated M, and I had to figure you wouldn't be boning any monsters. I had a feeling it was going to be in the dialogue, so count me right. Yeah, I'll go with the purebred horse. At least I can keep his semen and sell it. It's worth a lot. Who says there's no silver lining to bestiality? <laughs> Cool. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, okay. Oh, it's me! <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, if you're gonna partake in something illegal, dangerous, and downright immoral, might as well make a few thousand dollars off of it, right? Uh... 
Let's have a good time. You're so wealthy. See, right? It's all about money. All right, which is the coolest mythological creature? This weird creature I drew when I was six, mm. which is clearly super rich. This is the the free market. Cool. The invisible hand of the free market? What? This is like a Disco Elysium answer. <laughs> the invisible hand of the free market. A sphinx who's super turned up and ready to party, and she wraps all of her riddles. She kills you if you don't answer them correctly, but she wraps the riddles. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with uh, the Disco Elysium answer, actually. Let's, uh, let's get introspective about it. Uh, I mean, think about it. You know what? I kind of love that. Free market, talking about wealth again. So wealthy! God, we're gonna be rich. Getting jerked off by capitalism. Ooh. So much better. Oh Who'd my be gosh. Appealing in a love partner. Sharp wits, a very scenario personality, soft fur, kawaii eyes, a big <clears throat> horn, a taste for party. Uh huh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> Do you like the soft? Oh, oh shit! Damn it! <laughs> ah. I was going for the mermaid. Oh, well, at least it'll be warm during the winter. Damn it. Did you actually go to prom when you were in high school? Hell yeah. I never went. I only went to one homecoming, realized, yeah, it's not for me. I mean, I was with Violet at the time, so of course I went to prom. But you we, had a free pass. But we but we ditched out early because it was fucking lame. Yeah, I, <laughs> like, I didn't go, like, so... He's going to get out of here, it's like, yeah, let's go. So we just went back to my place and played video games! I, <laughs> I even had the, you know, hey, do you want to go? A bunch of us friends are going, and I was like, nah. Yeah. He didn't miss anything. All right, what am I doing? Auditorium, class, library, art oh. gym, or bathrooms? God, I, pl I played a dating sim like this on Newgrounds back in the day, what? Jesus. Wait a minute. I'm going to class because I'm not going to be no dumb dumb. That day I listened to my elders and learned value <laughs> lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Do you have to build up enough stats in order to ask your prom date to the prom? See, I'm just going to go to class. I'm going to Oh, oh, hi, Scott. What's up? What's up, man? Oh, what's up, man? I like the Christmas uh, sweater. A handsome here. prince steps through. Hey. Bedecked. Oh. My beloved, I have quested across dimensions to see your face. Oh, well, uh, here it is. Here's my face. <laughs> it is more than just your face that I need, Scott the Great, tosser of balls. I also need your body. Luckily, I brought that with me, too. <laughs> But I do not desire to merely gaze upon your body, though that in itself is a pleasure. My kingdom, you see, is besieged by a foul dire harp, and only your muscles can save us. And once the loathsome beast is vanquished, perhaps we can find some other uses for that body of yours. Wink. Oh my god, you say wink out loud too? Look at that. That's so cool! That face. <laughs> These two are getting along way too well. You need to slay that beast yourself before Scott and the prince spend any more time together, but how? Okay, time to woo. Sing so sweetly that the dire harp kills itself out of jealousy. Let's go. Before so Scott, creative. Before Scott of the Prince can react, you charge through with the portal to defeat the dire harp with the power of song. Your dulcet tones drive the dire harp to tears. Except because harps don't have tear ducts, it just explodes instead. Magnificent, with my intrusive friend, you shall sing at my and Scott's wedding. Wait, 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 wedding? I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. I'm already married to the game, you know. Curse you, game! The prince kicks you but <laughs> through this dimension and seals the portal behind you. And I gain boldness and creativity. All right. Nice. All right. Where are we heading? Can't go to class. Oh, I'm you took you took I'm class. You out of class. All right. Well, <laughs> if I'm going after a Sundere, chances are she's in the library. I clicked the wrong thing. That day during recess, you start a half-hour raid that goes full crazy. Please be mermaid. Please yeah, be no mermaid. Idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Come on. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party! Da -na 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 -na. You're getting plus two fun! Because I am plus two fun. You're all set to enjoy some sun, and all of a sudden the sun disappears. Oh. You don't mind too much. The darkness suits you, but Polly and Vera <laughs> are pissed. How extinguish the sun? And why didn't they ask my permission first? I'm. Hearing for some hissing. Why yeah. uh, 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 don't you uh, take that one? We already have like ten hours a night every night. We don't need night during the day. Oh. I <laughs> Santa's favorite hoe. <laughs> it's a very good sweater. Oh yes. Please excuse us. Sorry for the inconvenience. A solar behemoth is threatening to eat every baby in the world. So if we cast solar eclipse, you know, in order to defeat it, are these the Wiccans? <laughs> <laughs> It's all very technical and magical. No need to hurt your heads thinking about it. It'll be over soon. 
I'll hurt your heads thinking about it. Free period will be over soon, and then how will I sunbathe? Says the ghost. God, you guys are so selfish. This is unacceptable. Move the moon away from the sun this instant, or I'll find someone who can. This is where you come in, Voidling. You realize that if you don't step in, this will turn into a full-scale catfight. So you roll up your sleeves and hide Punch like- the bit! I mean Hide like a coward, yeah. Bribe your card? <laughs> what? Something tells me this is a very Cards Against Humanity kind of game, you know? Kinda, just, yeah. Just, you know, the, the outlandish things that they say are the, the comedy itself. Which, sure. Hmm... At least it's a visual novel, I suppose. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Man, we're just rolling in cash here! <laughs> Woo! Of, illicit, of illicit funds, you convince some very important people to nuke the crap out of the moon! It goes from a solid ball of boring gray rock to a cool stone donut in minutes. Thanks, Eggman! No problem. Sun streams down through the hole in the moon, bright as day, which it is. Yes! Now I can get my tan on! Your ghost tan? I mean, look how pale she is. It, she well, needs the sun. I can't really get a tan because I'm a ghost. Shut up. I mean, <laughs> d does she get vitamin E? As in ectoplasm? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, because the sun's supposed to give you, like, you know, vitamin E, you know, so you need the sun to, like, live sometimes. She likes me. She really likes me. Try screaming about it more. Maybe that will help. <laughs> got some bold, got some charm. Hell yeah. You get one charm for getting a Nobel Prize? Man, that's strict. Let's, Let's trade, trade places! places. Oh. Oh, is that what, um... Uh... Is decided based on your ability- Well, okay, what's a giraffe sound like? <coughs> Welcome to Toys R Us. Does that count? <coughs> or do you want to just go random? Might as well. Huh? All right. Who's me? Nope. All, All right. right. So does this look kind of like a board game? I see there's like some- there's like weeks to this, so... Oh, okay. Where are you sitting, buddy? Where are you sitting? Uh, well... At the cool kids table? You know, I think this would be the place yeah, to Yeah, I think that's the cool What's kids up, table. What's up, Scott and Polly? How's it going? Ooh, jelly desserts, do you not mind if I do, eh? Thanks, bro! <laughs> do you hear, bro? Come on, join our huddle! <laughs> Maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam gelatinous <laughs> dessert cups. Well, no wonder no more. We're going for the jelly prize! Yeah, we're gonna win it! If we collect the foil cover of 100 jelly desserts, we will be the luckiest winners of... One free jelly dessert! Ah! But right now, we're stuck. We've only got 99. That means we need... we need... One more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more! <laughs> you give them your jelly dessert, but you already threw it at a bird you person you hate. <laughs> I don't... Bird person I hate was... Oh, Kelly. Ugh. Eh, uh, bitch. Alright. <laughs> the jelly just... I'm waiting for one of these jellies to become a, a slime woman. Alright, we're gonna go espionage on this. Steal the final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert factory. Dun, That's right. Dun, I'm gonna dun, I'm gonna do an entire dun, heist dun. to make this happen. Let's go. Ooh, I think you got extra points with... Uh, what's, what's her name? Polly. I'm, I'm bad with names. Oh, that's gonna cost you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Holly the poltergeist. But if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? Because it's still life. I mean, right? There's no time for metaphysics, Scott. We have a like, heist to plan. No, coach says stealing is wrong. Uh, unless you're stealing a ball or a base or victory from the jaws of defeat. Hey, look, it's a base. Steal it. Uh, actually, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. Uh, well, that settles it. Time for stealing. One fake bus, one real woolly mammoth at a brutal running gun battle later, you finally secure one illicit jelly cop. Can I just say I love Scott's head empty face? <laughs> huh, I think I'm having an existential Christmas or something, whatever that existential is. Existential Christmas. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think I'm having that exponential Little Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Dude, you're having more Christmas, bro! Yeah, but I'm like torn about it. What's up, girls? You arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. Do you, do you want to know what this one is for, Vera? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. The road-shaped napkin fold is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. As a fashion enthusiast, I'd never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, you're the fashionista too. I think I picked correctly. <sighs> oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder at all the guests. 
See, see, that's the, that's that's the thing that we gotta we gotta. Yeah. I want her to kill me. Not very popular. The black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. In half. Ah! That's right. Uh, it creates a self-aware napkin whose sole purpose is to fold more napkins. Writhing snake fold is for when it is time to leave Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. What? Uh... uh stop! Which way? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's adorable! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at it folding everybody's napkins! It's like a tiny adorable surf! Looks like you're getting the murder fish! Alright, like bring it's it. It's folding the other napkins into more self-folding napkins. Ugh. I know! It's so efficient! Go, little napkin surf! Be free! Aren't you worried this will turn into a self-replicating napkin scenario progressing geometrically until the world is nothing but napkins? Yes. Why? That sounds lovely! God, you're impossible. You seem to have mispronounced impeccable. No, I mispronounced <laughs> <laughs> And there's the see you next Tuesday. All right, it's like I am back in high school. Yeah! <laughs> Vera leaves you alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda. You can't hang out too long, though. You've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. I blew a hole in the moon. Don't Some napkins won't hurt don't, me. Don't worry, just a napkin holder will fix all that. Uh, everyone chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Okay, uh... Robin Williams. Jeffrey Donovan! Aww. <laughs> if you see him act, you would know Jeffrey Donovan is the correct choice. Your first, then. <laughs> go ahead and select it. No, it's yours. It's your oh, go. sorry. You selected me. I am too. Okay, so if you have up to four players and people want the same person, they get to go there first and try to woo the individuals. Uh, who is, is that, this? Is that a cool who, cat? Who, who are you? Yo, what's up? Go get me a little shot. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Swearing is funny. Is I that, got, is I got that, nine money. Is that so Bob Ross? Great. Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education for great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? <laughs> a Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. A sexy fake Latin accent. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I, I, I can't afford a penguin mask. Yeah, that's 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 pretty uh, that's that's pretty hot. Ew! Ew! Ah! Ah! No! We got some- wait, was that zero dollars for the present? Or was that- A eight? PR agent?! Oh. Yes! I totally want the PR agent! <laughs> Alright, how much money do I have? You have seven money. I can't go to the store because you're at the store. So I'm hiring my PR agent! You are such a jerk. Alright, that's probably... So actually, my PR agent will take care star. of that. I'm gonna... Uh, if, it's, if you call me a jerk too, too long, it'll, she'll turn it around and make it that I'm the nice guy okay. on top. I didn't actually go to the library the first time. That is taped on. <laughs> Mining some bitcoins! Oh, oh no. no! It's a dramatization. Uh, and rise of cryptocurrency, but you guess that nobody has any fucking idea how it really works. Absolutely true. Well, I've been I've been seeing how it works, and uh, as far as I know, it doesn't. Two million dollars. Oh, good conversion rate. That's still money, you know. I got two bucks. Hi. Uh oh. A daily protection payment to Vera when suddenly. Everyone, stop what you're doing and look only at my majestic visage! The, the interdimensional prince... Mus muscling in on my territory. <laughs> sorry. It's, it's the snakes talking Yeah, exactly. Over. Muscling oh, in on my territory. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Not at all, my darling Vipress! I am here strictly in a business Ooh, capacity! Vipress is such a good word! That's good. Business, you say? I'm all snakes. Except for my snakes, which are all tongues and teeth. And snakes. It's simple economics, my love! You're an aspiring crime kingpin! I'm a prince. I propose a merger. I'm sorry, I chose the, the mafia boss, or the mafia daughter. Oops. You, sh you chose Mitsuru Kurijo. Cool! A merger of our resources, our minds, our bodies, and our spirits! Interesting. Only he would, would consider sex as a merger. 
<laughs> oh no, Vera's getting out her calculator. If she decides this merger is financially viable, good luck asking her to prom. Oh no! But how will you undermine Vera's confidence in the prince's financial status? Here's two million dollars worth of Bitcoin! Replace all of his gold with fish. Steal all of his money with your high-frequency trading algorithm, Carl. You're getting fish, dude. Get fish, Not nerd. So creative. Not so creative. What you do you assemble mean? assemble a crack team of interdimensional criminals to heist the prince's vault. Success! You arrive back at school to find the prince dancing with glee? I'm rich! I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams! Some benevolent interloper but mysteriously replaced all of my useless gold with precious fish! Are you telling me that in your dimension, fish are incredibly valuable, whereas gold is worthless? Why, of course! Isn't that how it is for everyone? My god, the potential for arbit- ar Arbitrage? Arbitrage. Arbitrage is... You know, I think this is the start of a beautiful business relationship. Oh no! This isn't what you wanted at all! And oh, Miranda's probably no. going to wonder what happened to all of her fish. I got you stupider! two smarts and minus one creativity! But! Okay, with well, that we go. Something happened to... To me! Oh, I was right. That weekend, you find Scott gazing lovingly at a pickle with a sad look in his eyes. Oh, hey bro, maybe you can help me make a really tough choice. Did you just remember you don't like pickles? See, I really like GDJ3, but I'm not sure I can commit yet because I also really like... I can be your wingman? This pickle! Look at it! It's so green and warty and exactly the right size for a pickle! UDJ3 is such a good person, but this pickle is such a good pickle, I can't choose! Won't you help me? Absolutely. Literally just a pickle. You can make out with UDJ3 while also having a pickle, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, if you could get him off my back, that'd be nice. This guy's too stupid to fuck. Wait a minute, I could I can sabotage you! Sure. <laughs> I could also be your wingman. Alright, uh, do, you, do you not want him? He's too stupid. He's too stupid. For words. All right, pickle comes once in a lifetime. There you go. No, apparently no, I broke your I heart. Never do that to Harvey. Harvey's name is what? Harvey's name again. This pickle because oh. he's such a good pickle. I know UDJ3 loves me and I love him, but if monogamous commitment is to a pickle is wrong, well then I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. He just told me I wasn't wrong, so I'm right. So everything's fine. <laughs> Are you telling me that our first choices turned out to be really bad? <laughs> Tell UJ3 that if I weren't already committed to this pickle, I would be happy to go out with him. I'm sure he will understand. I mean, I mean, if I... I gained a charm back. I'm not so gonna good. fight a nice jock for a pickle, you know? It's, yeah. It's not... Uh, Everybody choose a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before deciding. Uh... Oh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, The Witch. Uh, I think you win this one. What's thou like the taste of butter? Because I have a feeling there's plenty more Rule 34 of Scott Pilgrim than there is of The Witch. There's, first of all, there's children in that movie, which is awful. Second of all, there's a goat. Well, also there's the devil. <laughs> which is the goat. All right, you're going first. Well, right. Welcome back to school. I think I'm out of money, so you can probably hit up the shop this I time will around. hit up the shop, gladly. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna stick around in class, I think. There you go. That day, I'm astonished by the new stuff I learned in class. You thought high school was all about doing stupid shit with your friends and trying to find true love. Who would have thought that class could actually be useful? What a nice surprise! Mm. Okay, one plus one valuable lesson. Good luck trying to use this and that in this game. And plus two smarts. <laughs> I hear an almost dog-like whimper and go to see what sort of poor animal is in pain. The answer is Scott. <laughs> He's cross-eyed with concentration. He yelps and snaps out of it. He will not leave oh, you alone. Oh, bro! Thank goodness you're here! I was uh... trying to think all by myself. It was really hard, you know? <laughs> See, I know I'm the best at exercising. I'm the exercise master, the exercise lord, the exorcist. Uh, but I've never tried exercising my brain. And in a way, the brain is almost part of the body, too, you know? Uh, it's sort of a three-in-one because it'll make me better at exorcism. And being smarter would keep, keep me from getting bad grades. I, I think you can fix him. Team. I think you can fix him. Not in that way, but I think you can make him less stupid. Uh, I'm, I mean, I, I, I do want to help this guy out. All right, let's see. Okay. Books let's like brainstorm. Brain and heavier weights are better, so you just need to lift really heavy books. Let's brainstorm the witch, and it's like a little actual storm inside your brain. Oh. Yeah, we, there's some there's I, some dust, cobwebs, and probably, like, bed bugs and roaches in that there. That might hurt, though. He might hurt himself thinking up, thinking too hard. Well, if this is going to be easy, let's go! I knew it! <laughs> storm in my brain? That's the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Here's my water bottle. Pour some water in my ears! <laughs> 
Waterlogged my brain, dude. And this actively plugged in stripped cord will make for the perfect lightning. I didn't say, no, no, no. I told no, you no, it no, hurt. No. He is that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him an ear fire. I don't feel any smarter, in fact. I feel pretty dumb for listening to you. You let me down, bro. You let me way, way down. Oh, uh, no. Why don't you go fuck your pickle, then? Oh, wow. Yeah, lay it on thick, why don't you? Well, whatever. At least I'm smart. Let's see what I can do. Uh, auditorium. I want to go to the store. Shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome! Are you promoting that I go out and just make love to teenagers all day? Oh, that is zero dollars. All right. Good salad! Look at all those blocks! Wow! All right! I'm a genius! Now you just, you just, uh... Oh, uh, something bad? Playing this game in front of your parents. Uh, playing Frank's Adventure from Newgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, for our variety's sake, you go first. Hooray! My first choice was just going to be straight up racism as bad. <laughs> but you went for the gag answer, so I was like, ah, it's Jet. Alright, uh, screw my first choice. She scares me, but who this? Who are you? Ooh. Nah, I'm still going to go after you. The table you chose is quite crowded. Liam sits across from Miranda, who is flanked by two well-dressed servants. One of the servants cuts a slice of Salisbury steak and feeds it to the other. Seriously, Miranda, you have servants to chew your food for you? What? Of course not! That would be barbaric! The servant happily swallows a Salisbury steak. I have servants to eat for me! They're called eating serfs, don't you have any? Uh, first of all, no, I don't eat food. Second of all, it totally defeats the purpose of eating! Aren't you worried about starving? Why would I be? My serfs get all the calories I need to stay fit and healthy. What? Ugh, I have no objective reason to care about this, but suddenly it's all I care about. Someone convinced Miranda to stop this madness! I think all the people in this school are stupid. Hmm, maybe you should start this madness. Imagine all the p food you could take pictures of, but Miranda, look at the contented smile on the servant's face. Bip. What?! Hey. No, it can't be! Gordo, say it isn't true! But Gordo can't say anything because his mouth is full of delicious Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, which he is obviously eating entirely for his own benefit. Damn it! Traitorous dog! Do you want me to starve to death? Is that your plan? I think maybe he was just taking advantage of the fact that you don't understand how food works. Taking advantage of me? Scoundrel! Burpee, eat Gordo for me at once! I've been waiting for this. The two serfs look, each, look at each other, then stuff as much food as they can in their mouths before fleeing the cafeteria. Alas, how will I ever get my recommended daily allowance of nutrients now? You could try eating. You try IV drops. Maybe you could try sunlight. But how? You and Liam have a ton of fun laughing at Miranda as she learns how to eat food for apparently the first time in her life. How does that even work? Oh my god, everybody is an idiot. Okay, cool. All right. Is that Tony the Tiger? <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm gonna try and hang with my cool new gal pals. Hey, what are you- what, what, what's, what's up, gals? Oh, yum yum, I sure do love food and eating! Look at this food go in me! Mm, yes, this cafeteria Sloppy Joe truly has a subtle flavor profile. Finally, you, you notice the cause of this absurdity, a well-dressed businessman sitting at the next table watching both women intently. Oh yeah, I know you like this, baby! My eating is realistic and erotic! He cool, Polly. The man wants to pay us for eating in front of him, not screaming about eating. <laughs> is this not what eating is? I forget. While Vera tries to explain eating to Polly, the businessman shyly approaches you and gives a small bow. Much obliged, friend, he says in a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? I must confess that I have searched far and wide for a suitable candidate to, to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Mukbang. Paying a student at a high school for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. But I find myself unable to choose which of these two beauties to hire. Snake-headed one possesses a certain grace. Yeah, pay me, motherfucker. Pay me to do a thing I was gonna do anyway. But the translucent one has such passion. Eating! I don't even want the money! This is just fucking weird and I love it! 
In your opinion, that is man finishes, which would be the wiser choice on my part? Shit, I do like the ghost girl. She's hilarious. Let's go, girl. BAM! The businessman nods thoughtfully. You know, you're right. Never before have I believed so fully that someone was actually <laughs> eating real food. <laughs> yep, that's me eating real food with my real mouth and teeth! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's convincing to you? The food is falling right through her body onto the floor. Yeah, so we got like a second fetish as well. You we got the, you know... Don't, don't hate me because I'm efficient at eating! <laughs> don't worry, I hate you for other more private reasons. What? Sorry, can't hear you too busy it's eating too real busy food! Eating real <laughs> you team up with Polly to make her eating even more realistic. She passes her food through her body to you, and you eat it for her. It's pretty hot. This game is insane. Everybody choose an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before Ooh. clicking. Uh, uh, well, they're gonna ask me a raunchy question, so... Chinchilla! Uh, hmm, Marmoset. Oh, come on! I don't want to die. Can I be killed by eight marmosets or chinchillas? I think marmoset might win this one, I, dude. I, th I think so, too. Woohoo! Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's, it's almost, almost prom time. time. It's almost time for pram! I wonder if they just give you whomever is uh, the one you have the most points for. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I thought Scott was the one, or at least the game thought Scott was the one for me, but yeah. he's, a, he's literally as dumb as a football he throws around. Oh! Uh, Actually, wait, I think the football might be, might have a bit more IQ points than him. Where? Where would she be? Where would Mermaid Girl be? She's probably dancing. That day during recess, you sort of half-hour raid that- Another half-hour raid! You're going nuts, so man! <laughs> you spot Juan, the small magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan the Small Magical Latino Cat that everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Wands in the school, so adding that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him that you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun! Cool. You are the funnest guy ever. As you walk down the hallway trying to beat a level of Bone Crush on your phone, you run into C Run Smack into Vera, Crap. also engrossed in her phone. Sure, feel free to read over my shoulder. You wouldn't understand the charts anyway. Oh, do I have to pretend to be smart to get your love? Miranda's been mouthing off about being a princess again, as if that's so amazing. She's a princess underwater, you know what's un you know what's underwater? Sea slugs it's and fish, fish shit. <laughs> you know what's not underwater? This, this school. school. <laughs> and human shit. Why should birthright matter when there's so many other factors that determine a person's worth? Their beauty, their cruelty, their business sense. And using all these factors that divided the school into cools and uncools. Are you gonna tell me tomorrow to not come to school? Now I just need to find a way to reinforce the superiority of the cools over the uncools. Uncool students should have to carry cool students from class to class on chass chassis? <laughs> Rotting squid should be thrown at uncool students to remind them of how uncool they are. Uh, bam. So I do creative. worry about my shoes getting scuffed up getting from class to class. These cockatrice scale pumps cost $2,000. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Walk in them? Uh, of course, the uncool student should pay for the chassis out of pocket. Hmm. Maybe I'll go into the chase business, exploit my fellow students, advance the cools, and turn a profit. <laughs> a few days later, you see Vera being carried from Apparition 3 to AP Fearmongering on a beautiful studded couch. You notice there's this tag on it that says Oberlin Upholstery, and Vera's counting her money. Sweet! You gain plus two money as a royalty for your idea and plus one smarts. Cool! Uh. <laughs> yeah, where are you heading, buddy? I mean, I could go to class, but it's the evening. Uh, so, you know... Auditorium? Check out the football game? I think I think auditorium's a place to be. Let's, let's give that a look. Yeah. <laughs> that day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as if though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. I just realized we'll I said for auditorium for a football game. I'm such an idiot. I've been out of high school too long. It's because it's all staged. Well, uh, you got it. It's pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Yay! Oh my god, did you hear? Damn it! They finally invented a tattoo gun that works on ghosts! Oh, totally bro. Gonna go get one as soon as school lets out. Oh shit, we should definitely get matching tattoos, you wanna? Yes! Of course you do. What are you, responsible? The important question is, what kind of tattoo do you wanna get? Entire text of the Necronomicon should be the first one. Ooh, interesting! Party, party, party. Look together and you know what that spells. 
Ooh. Yeah. Huh. Not so fun! Oh, oh come on! Oh! <laughs> uh, oh. Can't believe I didn't notice it before. I don't have enough fingers. I don't have enough fingers. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, <laughs> damn it. It must be good for other things, like, you know... What is it with pickles in this game? Because pickle find ah, me. Not Lester finger body! Oh man, I have no charm. I have absolutely zero charm. Where's your riz, dude? I got, Come I got on. no... I'm, I just spent all my time in class. Who will I ask to prom? What's up? Who are you going to- Uh, you can still try, I think. I mean, I could- I could go for it. I don't know if she's gonna go for it, but... Okay. You've spent... It oh, none of them? That's a- that's a choice. Let's go for it. Alright, here we go. Let's see if it worked. Finally pick up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster uh... prom with you. Fuck! Uh... <laughs> Not only is that a no, it's a ew. Ooh! Heard... So of course! Heard that one before. Uh... <laughs> uh, uh, uh... Right, right, okay, yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, That's okay, God. you moved on from this horrible and shameful failure. You became a functional person and eventually you met a sweet banshee called Ash. Aww. You shared lots of common interests and after dating for some years you married. Hell yeah, I'm a banshee! One I, day I in the middle realized. of a casual conversation you mentioned how you couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. And then I got divorced? Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such a pathetic revelation, and so Ash abandoned you the next what day. What the fuck?! <laughs> I'm charmful, I'm funny, I'm smart! And thus, you live the rest of your life alone and sad. Never forget, Monster Prom is the most important thing. Fuck off! <laughs> Alright, your turn. Alright. You finally pick up your courage and ask for a little bit of Monster Prom with you. <laughs> oh my god! Board him on a stick. Holy shit! Right, yeah, and then what would you be? You'd be, you'd be, yeah, okay, uh-huh. Uh... Wow. Maybe you should have stuck with Scott. Maybe I should have. He wouldn't have, I mean, well, he has his pickle, that's all, that's all, and I let him down, too. Ugh. Which is a fancy way of saying I had to live the rest of my life in the fucking sewers. Gross. Huh. I didn't even get married. <laughs> How many endings are there? A thousand! Five hundred and ten outcomes! Thirty-four endings, four hundred twenty-one events, and one thousand five hundred ten different outcomes! Woo! Holy cow! This... Man. So it's got plenty of replayability. Oh, that was Coach! Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, all right, I thought he was the businessman that wanted to see students eating. Uh, uh yeah. that would have been weird. Is that a blob boy? Is that a blob guy right there in the middle? I think it is. Okay, you said this was like three bucks. Yeah. Uh, I think it's normal price is like 15 to 20, so... Uh -huh. I... I mean, they got like, uh, they got sequels now. Like I, Monster I, Camp is one of my things. I, I kinda like this one, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda liked it. Uh, yeah... It's writing was a bit crap, but... <laughs> well, hey, sometimes you need to have crap writing to get that charm out, you know? I guess. That's, it's, it's just part of life, I guess. <laughs> You, you uh, almost went to Monster Prom with a drug addict. Cooks the real shit, yeah! I, I, I think it's just a deranged visual novel that just... <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Self-awareness. I think it's too much. Oh no, it's getting meta! Maybe she's not the one pulling your strings! Oh, no. uh... <laughs> Poof. Yeah, I may have to play this in my spare time. Mm-hmm. Just to see what happens. Just to, just to maybe, you know, get a good ending for once. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, no. Good. These are the possibilities you could have had, and it goes straight to the credits. Wow. But I hope you had the time of your life. Hey, <laughs> that was the song I went out. No, no. That was the year before. Shoot. Yeah, I remember they used that song specifically for the graduates the year before me. Which was the year after me. Yep. I don't, I don't even remember what my song was. Look at all this fun stuff we could have been doing, but we didn't do it because we were too busy in school. Because we sucked. Uh, yeah, yeah this, this could be worth a revisit in my own personal time trying uh, to... Gosh. I mean, I mean, they got DLC and everything. They got like all these other characters. I mean, on the I didn't even know who these. Sc Aaron was Scott. 
Erica Ishii is. Where are they going? What? Someone's show is in here. We turned the voices on. What? Up. DJ, come in. What? Erica, what? I, what? I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't do research. <laughs> Well, that's kind of the Woo! that's kind of the what I wanted to achieve out of Bargain Bin Lounge. Like, hey, this is a game that's only three bucks. You see it, you see it uh, go around the the, the, the cheap one. You, like, is this, is this worth anything? And who would have thought oh, this ain't that bad? Well, that was really fun. You're welcome. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Fuck, I didn't think I would end up liking this. All right, well, how am I gonna follow this up now? Oh yeah, it's your turn. Oh, oh wait, I got an erotic this? fan thing about dragons. This is about to get weird. You mean it's about to get good? I mean, I mean that's that's normal. Nine new images. Wait, go There's go a go. Gallery. Wait, There's wait. a fucking gallery. Jesus Christ. Huh? Oh wait. my God. Oh, okay. Those are just the the ending things. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Fan art. Fan art. Oh. X squeeze me. Oh. Man. Oh man. Monster sonas. Did you notice there was a uh, there was a special credit for the first cosplayer of uh, these characters? Really? Wow. Well, that was that was something. That was certainly something. Monster Prom XXL. <laughs> wow. Cool. All right. See you next week for more uh, of whatever you come up with. Whatever I come. How am I gonna follow this one up? All right. See you next time. Mm -hmm.